Hey, what's going on you guys? Clint here. Welcome back to the channel, CoCommerce. In this video, I'm gonna be going over React Router version six inside of React. So I'm gonna show you how we could do static and dynamic routes as well. Um, so if, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna go ahead and press the control back tick button. Now I'm already in the folder I'm gonna be working in, just as react-router. So what I'm gonna do is create my React project. I'll type npm create vite at latest, and we'll go ahead and install it inside of our current directory here. So go ahead and choose React, and we're gonna be using JavaScript. So next we'll type npm i to install the necessary dependencies. All right, looks like we're up and running. I'm gonna go and type npm run dev to start up our development server here. And it should start up on localhost 5173. We'll say localhost 5173, and there we have it. Okay, so let's go into our source folder here. So just inside here, inside of our, sorry, our app.js. JSX, and we can go ahead and just delete everything inside of that. We don't need anything, any any of that stuff. We can delete all this. We'll just leave the app.css. We can have some sort of styling in there, right? So we'll say h1, oops. We'll say h1, there we go. And we'll just say homepage, just like that, all right? So what we wanna do first, let's go ahead and install React Router Dump. So I'm gonna go ahead and type npmi React Router Dump, just like that. And while that installs, you can go over to reactrouter.com. Got some pretty cool, uh, pretty good documentation on there. So if we click on navigation here. We're gonna be using uh, create browser router. So let's go ahead and click on that. And we'll start up our development server, npm run dev. So let's go into our main.jsx. And inside here, you can say, we'll say const, uh, first we need to import it, so we'll say, import we'll just paste that in there from react router dom there we go and then we can just say this right here so we'll say const router equal to create browser router there we go and this is just going to be basically just an array of objects so we can have a path here uh, we'll have a home page and then we'll have an element um, we'll just say app for now and let's go ahead and put a little comma there. We'll go ahead and save that and let's stop for now. Before we go any further, let's go ahead and create our routes, right? So inside of our source folder, I'm gonna say routes and then we'll have a, a dashboard. It can be whatever you want, .jsx. And we'll say refce just to generate our functional component here. Then also in the routes folder, let's come uh, create a contact.jsx. Refce, there we go. Now inside our main, okay, so we have this here. I'm gonna go ahead and copy that. And there we go. All right, and I'll copy it down one more. So I just wanted to do that so we can have our routes here. So we'll have our dashboard, make sure we import that one as well as our contact. Let's import that and we'll say dashboard and contact there we go now you can't you don't have to have an element here you can actually say uh, if you really wanted to have a div you could say something like that uh, not sure why you'd want to do that but it is possible just so you know all right so let's go back to our contact now uh one more thing we need to do i'm just going to copy this uh, right here um where what we're going to say here uh let's see we'll say router provider just like that and then we'll say router router just like that okay so next, let's go ahead and create like a little nav bar just so it's easier uh, for our project to just kind of cruise around. We'll say components, and you don't have to do all this, but uh, navbar.jsx, R-A-F-C-E, just to generate our functional component here. And again, this is just to make it a little bit easier on us to kind of cruise around. Um, I'm gonna say, uh, let's say a uh, link here. We import link from React Router Dumb. And then what we're gonna say in here, we can say a uh, home, and we need to put this uh, to somewhere. So we're just gonna say, our homepage there, and we'll say uh, dashboard, and then this one would be like a, a contact page, right? And we'll say dashboard and contact. So let's go ahead and check this out. We need to put this on our page, so we'll just say navbar. There we go. Okay, let's go ahead and save that. Save that, and then, you know what? Let's go ahead and inside our nav bar, I'm gonna you should probably you should never do this, but uh, just for the sake of this video, we'll do something like that, so it kind of like separates them out a little bit, right? So okay, and p tag. Again, please don't do this. Just just so it's easier to see. So um, dashboard. Now we have our dashboard page, but you know what? Let's go ahead and put uh, our nav bar component just on all these. So. Um, We'll say our nav bar, go ahead and 
import that. And then this was, uh, we'll just say dashboard again. So we know where we're at. And let's go ahead and do the same for our contact page. There we go. Okay. So now we can say dashboard, dashboard, contact page. Uh-oh, what's going on here? Contact. Um, contact, I do that right. Nav bar, oh, I just didn't import it. So let's just go ahead and import that. There we go. So, okay, cool. So this is how we can do just some static uh, routing inside of React. Now, say we have um, some data, for example, or real quick also before we move on to that. So right now we have in our main.js, we have all our routes here. And if we had a bunch of routes, it could get kind of uh, messy, right? So if we have all these routes in here, kind of just clutter up our uh, main.jsx. So um, what I'm gonna do, what I recommend you do inside of our source uh, folder here, let's create a router.jsx file. And what we can do is actually just grab all of this and we'll just paste it inside here. But of course we're gonna need to exp, whoops. Didn't mean to click on that. Oh, okay, there we go. So we'll just mean need to export this. And then of course we'll need to like import a few of these things. So create a browser router we'll need to import all of our um, components here too. There we go. And now inside of our main, we can actually delete all of these, right? Or not all of them, but that one, we can get rid of that and just kind of clean it up a little bit. It looks a little bit nicer. And then we just need to import a router from, looks like it was gonna auto import. There we go, cool. So now you can tell it, it works kind of all the same here. It just looks a little bit, a little bit cleaner, and that's what I like to do in my projects. Okay. So next, uh, let's go ahead. So we now we have some static routing, right? Pretty easy to do some static routing. What we want to do next is have some dynamic routes, right? So for that, I'm just going to import like a route. I'll bring in a uh, inside my source folder here. I'm going to create a new file, just a, a data.json, um, and this can just kind of simulate like if we were to make an API call and get some data back. So I'm just gonna say like some to-dos here and then we'll say, bring this into an array and then we'll have um, we'll have a uh, ID. So we can have an ID here equal to one. And then we'll have a, um, let's see here, we can have a to-do, we'll say walk the dog, just something like that. And then also we'll have a slug and that gonna be here. This is gonna be like the URL walk the dog. So let's go ahead and save that. Looks a little bit nicer now. And I'm just gonna copy this. So copy that, we'll put a comma there. We'll paste it, save. So it gets nice and formatted there. Put a comma, copy this down. So this one's gonna be two, three. And then again, you'd be getting this from like an API or something. Um, so we're just gonna say wash the car. But this is for the sake of this video, wash the car, okay. And then in here we'll say uh, you like grind leak code. Yeah, grind the leak code. Something I have not been doing recently, lately. Um, all right, so grind leak codes, just something, something like that. Cool. So let's go ahead and save that. And now, um, now what we can do inside of our, let's go back inside our app.js. So inside here, let's go ahead and import, import our to dos. We say import to dos from data.json, there we go. And if we go ahead and just console.log to do's, you should see all of our to do's here, right? So let's go ahead and console.log them. We can have a look, right, there you go. So these are all of our to do's, right? Pretty cool. So next what we wanna do is, okay, so yeah, to create our uh, our dan dynamic route, let's go into our, um, into our main, or you know what, we extracted it, right? So we can go ahead and close this actually. So let's go into our um, our router here. And what we're gonna say in here, let's just go ahead and copy this down. And what we can say, instead of like a typed route like that, we're just gonna use a colon and I'm gonna say slug. You can actually call us whatever you want, but I'm gonna say uh, slug, cause that goes along with our data, right? So this is gonna be our slug right there. So we'll say slug and then in here, let's go ahead and create a new uh, a route, right? We'll create a new route and this is just be like to do item.jsx. Then we'll say RAFC just to generate our functional component. Now inside here, what we'll say is we'll say, um, let's say const, we'll say slug and we're gonna use, a, um, use params. This is just a function from react router dom. Oops, 
I always hit that wrong button here. So make sure you import that. And it's going to be use params from React Router DOM. All right, next we need to go back into, we need to go back into our router here. And I forgot we put this on co uh, contact. So we need to make this, this to do item, right? Because that's going to be the component that we're going to render out. Make sure everything's imported. Now let's go back into our app.jsx, okay? And we can actually just go ahead and we'll just delete that there. So let's go ahead and map through all of our uh, items on the screen here. So we'll say underneath this H1, we'll say uh, on order list, then we'll say to do's. These are what we're bringing in here to do's.map. And you can call this whatever you want. I'm just going to say X and we'll render out something on the screen. It's going to be, whoop, not that. There we have it, just like that. And then we'll have a link. Let's make sure we import that to do. And what we're gonna say in here, we'll get to that in just a moment. Moment. In here, we'll say x dot to do, then x dot slug. And what we're bringing in here, guys, if we go back over here, we're just bringing in this to do, and then this slug right there. So let's go back to our homepage here, ah, there we have it. So we can see our things on the screen. Uh, we didn't give it a key, so probably uh, what it's saying. So if we just type in here, key uh, react needs to have a, a unique ID. So we'll just say x dot ID, uh, which is just the ID uh, on each to do, right? So if we refresh, that should take care of all the errors. So you can see here, whenever we hover over this, you see the, the link in the bottom left of the browser. So if we go to grind leak code, uh, we're not seeing anything yet, but that's cool. Let's go into the uh, to-do item component, right? And what we're gonna need to do is actually import our to-dos. So I'm gonna import, we'll say to-dos from, we'll say, where are they at? There we go, data.json. Again, importing into the dos. And you know what? Let's go ahead and say, let's call them items just so it's a little bit less confusing. So I'm gonna say import to dos as items here. And then right here, what I'm gonna say, we'll say const item equal to items.find, and we'll look for uh, x here, or you can call it whatever you want. We'll say x, and the x dot slug is equal to slug. So let's go ahead and save that. And inside here, we'll say h1, this is the to do item, right? Let's go and save, and then we'll say item.id. Let's see if we have access to that. And let's just go ahead and copy this down a couple times. This should be the to-do. Ah, there we have it. And let's go ahead and say this is the slug. So let's go and save. Okay, cool. And you can see we're at grind leak code. This is the grind leak code. So let's go back one. You see, we'll refresh. We'll see. This should be walk the dog. You see that link? Walk the dog, walk the dog. Hey, there you go. All right. I think that's going to wrap up the video, you guys. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you got something out of this. And if you did, I appreciate it if you hit that like button. Thanks for watching. Leave me a comment down below and I'll get back with you. See you on the next one.